So I've recommended crushed coral in the past, but how much should you actually put in your tank? Let's take a look. Subscribe to my channel. Welcome back to Bob Moss Nano Tanks. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm still super busy with work, so I'm just slamming out a quick video on one of my breaks here and then getting back to it. Just to get some content out for you guys, just so you still uh, watch my channel and you know see me and I still do stuff for the algorithm because YouTube is gonna appreciate it. All right, so crushed coral, yeah. This is the stuff I use. I got it off Amazon. Hopefully it focuses for you. So it's technically a marine aquarium gravel, but that's because in a marine aquarium, you would use crushed coral as your gravel, uh, yeah. So let's just, um, yeah, this is really simple. How much crushed coral do I put in my tank? So in a 10 gallon tank, this is how much crushed coral I put in. One net's worth. This is just a standard small aquarium net. I fill it up and I'm gonna rinse this off because the crushed coral is super, super dusty, but that's about it. So that's my hand, I don't know. What do I have to actually measure? Bacter AE thing? A standard thing, you know, I need a banana for scale, guys. So Bacter AE for scale. Uh, I can't weigh this because it's obviously gonna be too much weight for my scale that I have. My scale is like the micro scale. It's only good up to 20 grams, but it's the three decimal places. So that's why I bought that. And yeah, let's rinse this off and get it in the tank. Pretty simple video, right? So here I just have some dechlorinated water. I'm just gonna, all oh, the stuff that's on the bottom is gonna come off. So you're gonna see it gets real dusty in there. I don't care if I lose some. You can actually run this under the tap as well. But yeah, that's good enough for me. So rinse off your crushed coral. And I mentioned this, I believe in the actual video where I set this up that I was gonna be adding crushed coral to it in the future. Well, now it's the future. So let's add the crushed coral. So why do we add crushed coral? We add crushed coral to help stabilize the pH and the KH. And why is that? Well, organics, things like nitrates and ammonia, they're going to eat away at the KH in your tank. And as they slowly eat away at the KH, that will slowly lower the pH. If you run out of KH in your tank, that's the carbonate hardness. So that gets down to zero to one and you have nothing in your tank to help uh, stabilize it or bring it up or buffer the pH. Like the Caradina tanks, they have zero to one KH, but they also have a buffering substrate to buffer the pH. So you don't have to worry about the pH crashing. But yeah, that's what's gonna happen is the pH is gonna crash. Livestock is gonna die. Plants are gonna be affected. Bad things are gonna happen. Your cycle is gonna crash. So yeah, we keep a, this little bit of crushed core just all on the back of the tank. I'll try to give you some kind of shot of it after, but it's kind of gonna be hard because I have it in behind these uh, this little mountain range that I built. And yeah, we put enough in just to keep a KH value in the water, which helps keep our pH stable, no matter how many organics end up being in the water, no matter how high the ammonia spikes or the nitrate spikes or anything like that. All right, beautiful. I kicked up a bunch of snail poop that I'm gonna have to clean out today and, and yeah. That is it guys, that is how much crushed coral I put in a 10 gallon. So obviously you just increase that. If you have a 20 gallon, you're gonna double it. If you have a 30 gallon, you're gonna triple it, etc., etc. So as you can see, you can see it a bit from the side here. It's obviously all in the back. I'm not gonna be able to get a very good shot. Sorry, camera tilting, yeah. And as you can see, you can only see that little bit that trickled out to the front there because there's a bunch back there. But so my tank still looks clean. There's not a lot of uh, bright white in there. There's still all that snail poop I haven't cleaned out yet. Gonna get to that real soon. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about crushed coral or neocaridina tanks or anything like that. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of my tank. Make sure to keep your shrimp hands strong. Till next time. All right, let's do this. It's going to be quick. It's going to be easy. Going to be good. Life is busy, got stuff to do. So I'm just throwing out another real quick video here on how much crushed coral you should actually be using in your shrimp tank. Neo Caradina. Fuck. Everyone's still super busy with work. So another quick video. The fuck's my net? And then build the damn bucket tower. <laughs> that gets down to zero to one and you have nothing fuck me um us um or todd so my uh fuck <laughs>